Welcome to Maya. In this video, we'll take a quick tour of the interface. You'll discover some basic features and tools in Maya and learn their names. Maya's interface is divided into panels that give you access to different tools and editors. Quick layout buttons let you switch among the different preset layouts. The view panel is where you work and shows you what the camera sees. The panel toolbar contains icons for easy access to many commands that are found in the panel menus. Menus and tools are organized by basic groupings called menu sets. Each menu set displays menus that apply only to that grouping. Hotkeys let you quickly toggle between the menu sets. Press F2 for modeling, F3 for rigging, F4 for animation, F5 for effects, and F6 for rendering. These menus are the permanent residents on the menu bar, no matter which menu set is active. For quick access to all menu commands without needing to change menu sets, you can use the hotbox. Just hold down the spacebar. If you can't find a menu in the menu bar, choose Help, Find Menu, and enter a string to find menu commands with that word. Right-click on a selected object to open a marking menu. This gives you commands that are in context of that object type, such as polygon objects. You'll probably use marking menus a lot to switch between object mode and the different component modes. Other types of commands and tools are available if you press Ctrl plus right click or Shift plus right click. Shelves contain icons that are grouped in a similar way to the menus on the menu bar and contain the most common commands from there. For example, clicking the Create Joints icon on the rigging shelf is the same as choosing the Skeleton's Create Joints command in the rigging menu set. You can also create your own custom shelf and populate it with commands or scripts to have quick access to them. The status line contains many general tools. You can hide or display each of the sections by toggling their divider bars. The file commands are here, then the selection options, the snapping tools, construction history options, rendering tools, the input box where you can transform, select, or rename objects, and the Autodesk account sign-in box. The toolbox on the left contains the selection tools, and the transform tools that let you move, rotate, and scale objects and components. The other side of the interface is home to several panels that you'll probably use frequently. The channel box shows certain attributes for an object, usually it's transform attributes, and is often used for easy keying of any attribute that you set as keyable. The layer editor contains two types of layers. Display layers, which let you control the visibility and selectability of objects. and animation layers, which let you create separate layers of animation on top of the base animation. You can also switch animation layers here, which is useful when the layer editor isn't visible. The attribute editor shows you all the attributes for an object. Attributes are the traits or properties of an object that define it. They're separated into different tabs that reflect each of the object's nodes. Tool Settings shows you all settings for any tool that you select. 
By default, the panel opens up on the left side of the interface, but we've moved it here for convenience. You can also double-click a tool's icon to open this panel. The Modeling Toolkit is your one-stop center for polygon modeling tools. And Character Controls opens the Human IK panel for doing character animation. Click the tabs on the side to switch among these panels while keeping them open. You can also undock and move these panels around, and then dock them again where you like. Let's move down to the bottom of the interface. The time slider shows the current frames in the scene, as defined by the range slider below it. The playback controls let you play the animation in the scene. Right-click any of the buttons to open a menu where you can change the speed, the looping, and other playback options. To set the default playback options, click the Animation Preferences icon here. This opens the Preferences window to the Time Slider options. Of course, you can also set preferences for any other category you like. Click this icon to activate Auto Key Mode, where keyframes are set automatically when you change attributes at different frames. Just make sure to turn it off when you're done keying. Character sets are groups of attributes from one or more objects that you put in a single set for easy selecting and keying. You can select the current character set from this list. The MEL command line is where you can enter commands and scripts. MEL stands for Maya Embedded Language, which is the scripting language that's used throughout Maya. Everything you do in Maya creates a MEL command, which you can see if you click the Script Editor button in this corner. You get the history of commands that were executed, and you can create your own scripts here using MEL or Python. To make sure you see all the commands whenever you do anything in Maya, choose History Echo All Commands. Beside the command line is the display command response, which gives you feedback about the status of an operation, including error messages and warnings. And below this is the help line, which displays short descriptions of tools and menu commands as you move the cursor over them or select them. So that wraps up this tour of the Maya interface. Of course, there are many more tools and editors in Maya that you'll discover as you work, but this should help you get started. Make sure to check the Maya Help for more information, as well as the multitude of other learning resources.